We have shows today on the topic of suicide and suicide prevention. It's a very, very important topic. You know, it's the 11th leading cause of death in America. They say over 30,000 people a year take their own lives. It's a very serious topic. We'll be talking today about how you might be able to identify that someone could be suicidal and what kind of steps you might be able to take to help save their life. And our guests include Rick Oliver and Scott Osicki. Again, today is suicide prevention. So important. Thanks for joining us. By definition, someone who commits suicide has made a final action. What, what is the mindset for someone who is thinking about suicide? Typically, they are facing some situations uh, that they don't feel they can handle. There's a lot of um, internal pain, a lot of psych ache, as we call it, that um, whatever the situation is going on, they don't feel their coping skills are able to, to deal with that, and they only see one way to end the pain, and that's by ending their life. Is, would a psychiatrist or a psychologist say that that is a rational thought, or is it an irrational thought, the idea that suicide might be a solution? I think that most mental health professionals believe that um, when someone's thoughts are overwhelmed with stress, that they're not thinking rationally. And typically, someone who dies by suicide also has some kind of mental health symptoms that also complicate their thinking. Uh, they're not, uh, the decision-making abilities are, are compromised, and then they don't see any other, any other way out besides ending their life. Scott, anything to add on that? Um, a lot of people who consider suicide are extremely depressed. Um, the suicide is tied in with depression. So um, there are a lot of signs and symptoms uh, of depression, feeling extremely sad, not being able to do the things that you once enjoyed. And then when there's a problem on top of the depression, a lot of people then consider that suicide might be a way out, but of course it isn't. Um, I, I want to get into a little bit more detail on what are the symptoms of depression and what are some of the warning signs that maybe mm -hmm. we can see and others mm -hmm. hopefully to be able to step in and help. Well, the most common symptoms of depression and the ones that are most obvious to other people are a person's inability to sleep and problems eating. Those are two very typical what, symptoms. What kinds of problems eating? Well, either typically they don't have an appetite, and they won't they won't eat. Uh, they'll skip meals, um, and then the the loss of an appetite and not sleeping well leads to uh, lack of energy. They don't have any um, poor concentration, um, and it all kind of like adds to, up to someone who really doesn't function very well. They can't take care of their normal daily activities. They won't go to work or can't function in school properly. What are the phone numbers that people can call if they have uh, an issue with suicide? 1-800-SUICIDE and 1-800-273-TALK. Very mm -hmm. good. For more Medical Matters television shows, go online to medicalmatters.tv.